New York officials pressing no criminal charges against the mother who left her newborn baby inside a church's manger for Christmas. They say that she followed the spirit of New York's safe haven law. The district attorney explaining the mother felt her newborn would be found safely in the church, choosing to put her baby in the manger because it was the warmest place in the building, and even returning the next morning to make sure the child was okay. Here's the priest who helped make sure that that happened. I was able to go up to the NICU and, and, uh, and see him. Uh, he's doing very well. He's a healthy baby. The doctor says he's just waiting now to find a home. Well, let's bring in our legal panel. Patrick is a prosecutor and trial attorney, and Michael Gottlieb is a criminal defense attorney. So, Wendy, let's start with you. This just seems kind of shocking. It, it's not something that you expect to see, a mother dropping a baby off at church, leaving the baby in a manger, and then no, no charges. Absolutely, and that's the first reaction that a lot of people have in listening to this story. This baby in a manger story, and, and what a blessing the child was found in is safe, first of all, but it's really shining a spotlight on a set of laws that many states have called safe haven laws. And basically what that means is it's a defense to a charge of child abandonment. You have to prove that you either left the child with an appropriate person or you left the child in a safe location and then notified an appropriate person. What's interesting here, Leah, is this mother did neither of those things. That is one of the reasons that you saw the Queens District Attorney explaining that although she didn't follow the letter of the law, she followed the spirit of the law and placing the baby in the warmest place in the church, returning the next day to check they actually interviewed her before they made the decision that under the facts and circumstances, as hard as it is to believe and as strange as it sounds, she won't be facing criminal prosecution. Very interesting. And you mentioned that New York has a safe haven law. We actually have some information on that type of law we're putting up on your screen right now. So in New York, a person cannot be prosecuted for abandonment of a child if that person leaves a child not more than five days old with an appropriate person or in an appropriate and safe location and immediately notifies an appropriate person regarding the child's relinquishment and location of relinquishment. However, the surrendering person should not have intent to return for the child. So, Michael, let's turn to you on this. How common is sure. this actually used as defense? Do we see this very often? Well, first of all, every state has these has these laws. So there are children that are being dropped off often. I think the reason we're talking about this one is this mother didn't really follow the law to the exact letter of the law. So that's why we're talking about this. But she did pick a safe location. She did pick a responsible location. She put the child in a crib, if you will, in the, in the manger. It was a warm location. She had just purchased um, blankets for the child. So, you know, we're, we're talking about it because it's unusual. But she, she really, she did what the law requires of her 95%. And that's why she's not being prosecuted. And Wendy, do you see any changes to this law coming forward, maybe being updated? You know, for example, the, the law allows you to drop a child off at certain places, but do they have to be left inside or out? Are, are there changes that need to be made? Well, that's a good question because there's a difference between child abandonment and child endangerment. And that's one of the reasons that the safe haven laws have this safe place requirement. In other words, especially in some place that gets cold at night, as New York City does, it can't be left outside. It wouldn't be able to be left in any place where it could be exposed to danger. And those are some of the things that most people don't know. You know, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Everybody learns that in law school. But the general public doesn't know that. And they don't know that there are laws like this that almost make a legal abandonment possibility. So sadly, we see other horrifying and heartbreaking cases where parents just didn't know what to do with an unwanted child. But you also brought up the point, which I want to emphasize, that there can be no intent to return and try to claim the child. In other words, somebody that takes advantage of a safe haven law cannot change their mind and have second thoughts and say, well, now I'd like to raise the child as my own. That is something that cannot possibly be uh, a result of taking advantage of this law. Well, I just want to put some information up on the screen if we can. There's actually a safe haven hotline in New York where a parent who wishes to leave their child uh, can have workers come and pick up that child. Uh, the number for that is 1-877-796-HOPE. And thank you to both of you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you and happy Thanksgiving.